Well, of course, we cannot influence the hurricanes, and so we're not, no matter how, how much we learn about them, we don't believe that we're, we're certainly not in the business of figuring out how to influence them. So what we're trying to do is to be better prepared when they do uh, hit a, uh, an area that, that's of concern, either a, a landfall region or even uh, assets uh, out at sea that, that might be um, uh, damaged by a hurricane, ships, oil rigs, and so forth. So um, what we want to do is to be able to better predict uh, the development of the storms and where within a storm is going to have the highest wind, for example. Things like that might determine things like uh, the, uh, the storm surge, that is the flooding that's going to occur as the uh, winds push the, the water ahead of it or drag the, the water along and cause flooding. GRIP stands for Genesis and Rapid Intensification Processes Experiment, G-R-I-P. Um, Genesis means the development of storms from a fairly unorganized region of convection, that is um, storms, small-scale storms that get organized into a hurricane or um, the predecessor for a hurricane, a tropical storm, a named tropical storm. Um, rapid intensification is a phenomenon that's been observed that uh, where hurricanes intensify very quickly. I mean, just like the name says, rapid intensification. And those processes are not well understood, um, as exemplified by the fact that we have a hard time predicting that rapid intensification. With GRIP, we have uh, three aircraft, and on those aircraft, we have um, several instruments, 14 in all. So each aircraft has several instruments. The, uh, the instruments are a variety of uh, techniques. They use a variety of techniques and they measure a variety of variables that are important to uh, understand the tropical storms, uh, both uh, for the purpose of, of, of understanding as well as predicting. So some of the instruments are gonna measure the winds, some are gonna measure the rainfall, some are gonna measure details about the cloud and rainfall particles within the air. Um, others are going to measure the environment around the storm. Uh, some things that we think are important, for example, are the presence of um, aerosols or dust particles, which actually can influence the storm in a couple of different ways. The time frame for GRIP will occur right in the middle of the expected uh, hurricane season, right, right during the, the most uh, the predicted highest level of activity. Um, and this hurricane season is predicted to be a very active hurricane season. Uh, experience tells us that those predictions are not accurate to 100%, even, even to that qualitative level that I just spoke at. Um, but in any case, uh, we expect that we'll conduct GRIP during about the middle of August through late September. We'll be collecting data during that time. Um, during that time, many of us will be able to look at some data from our instruments on a daily basis and pass that along to the rest of the scientific team. And that data will help guide us sometimes to what we're going to do next. Um, but most of the data analysis will be done after the flight. And it'll be a matter of weeks or even months by the time all of the data is analyzed and quality controlled and put into data sets that are available for the scientific community. Um, the science that can be done with those data sets, uh, some of it can be done very, very quickly. Every once in a while you see something out of a data set right away and then you can write a paper and, you know, everybody's astounded by what you've learned. Um, other times though, and, and usually the case is it can take months or years to get all that you can from a data set and, and really discover uh, what the, the value uh, of various aspects of it are. The, uh, the thing about rapid intensification is that it, it's so important to know how intense the storms are when they hit land. So uh, if we have a rapid intensification event occur just prior to uh, landfall, then we can all be surprised as far as uh, being ready for the storm, having uh, people out of the way and um, assets you know, closed up, uh, stores boarded up and so forth. Um, so what... Uh, what we need to do is to better understand that process so that we can better predict it.